to make this kind of mosaic, I made boxes like this. As you can see in the back, this is a special foam board. You can buy it with already a layer of self-adhesive. So when you peel this away, you will be able to stick the balloons in a very easy way. To make this box, I did cut away some of the sides. Like so. And by doing this, I will get a stronger angle to glue this in. So peel all the foam away. can see that this now has this thickness of only paper the foam is away so now this will fit perfectly in here and this will be a very strong connection if if you want to fold this over I take this length and I will cut away the V-shape to make it a nice and clean angle. So I hold it diagonally. The other side This has now been peeled away and now I can fold this over like this, making a clean, nice angle once that I will be gluing this in. So to make, to make all this into a box like that, it takes you about 15 up to 20 minutes. This now is ready to be used. Once your box is ready, you can peel away the backing and this is now ready to glue in the balloons. I did pre-inflate these to 4 inch and this only needs to be positioned and they're glued in. So as we have already an adhesive layer we don't have to fiddle with glue guns or sticky dots or balloon bonds, just position and that's it. This is our basic layer. If wanted, we can fill in the gaps. With small balloons. But this is probably something that you will do after positioning the letter. Because now I am going to use the North Star. The North Star letters 16 inch but i did spray paint these to have this black effect i will show you how to 
but I do this outside so it's better to do this in an open space for the smell and it's better for you. Now that the North Star letters have been spray painted and dried up, I can glue them in and I will be using, for instance, some balloon bond. Balloon bond now comes in stripes and it's very, very easy to cut into the lengths that you prefer to work with. One here. And one there. I already glued it in here on that side. One, two. And as you can see with one, two, three, four dots of balloon bonds, this is now very strong. Now you can choose to fill up more of the little gaps. And again, with a self-adhesive back, you only have to squeeze them in and they will stay. Now, if you want to add more details here, then you will have to glue them in with dots or balloon bonds. They don't have to be that big, so let me cut them even more. And now we can go back to school.